Hi folks and welcome back to another tutorial sort here in the tutorial fort and I've done a little bit of dig around it turns out these were beasts they simply cannot uh, starve to death they can't dehydrate they're gonna be in there forever so we have to deal with them and I think we're gonna do that right now we're gonna order that deconstructed we're gonna put a door on there and lock it we're gonna put the we're gonna lock to the jail to the door once the deconstruction starts and the soldiers are inside and we are just gonna wait let that be deconstructed and we're just gonna fight them we've got squad A in there our masters of everythingness as soon as that door open that uh, wall comes down we're gonna signal for squad A and B to go in there and kill the were creatures and then we're just gonna have to watch out for injuries Any second now that wall's gonna come down, those wear hyenas are gonna launch at us. I'm hoping they're still injured from the previous. Let's have a look at these guys. Are they wounded at all? Let's have a look. Wounds. None. None. So they, if anything, they're better off now than when we first locked them in there, because they've had the time to heal. There they are. Okay. Squad A. You know what? We're gonna order B and C as well. Kill in a rectangle. Kill those wear hyenas. Now I think, is this door, yeah this door is like forbidden, now it's passable, we're going to pour in, we're going to kill those were hyenas. Okay, let's take a look at this first one. Nice, okay, so that one, that one's going well, and this one, literally first thing that happened. I want to see my friends, I'm not lonely, the legionnaire bashes it in the head, and just straight away kills it. And then let's take a look, how's this second fight going? Four pages in, uh, the legionnaire bites the surf in the upper body. That's probably not a great thing. There we are, looks like that's done. Uh, bites this, ooh, shot's blocked, shot's blocked. Wait, someone bruised the heart by bite. Jesus, how good are our biters? Where is the other? There's one way, you know, there's the second. Looks like it was finished off by a silver mace to the head. So there we are, folks. We, that's um, the way hyenas dealt with. The serfs will get in there and clean up the bodies and the blood eventually, I hope. We're going to press uh, D, I think it's D and B, to reclaim these items. Nobody was wounded. Or at least nobody should have been wounded. Relic is unconscious. What happened to Relic? Oh jeez, that's not good. Death, I'm very uneasy. Uh, looks like he was fighting another legionnaire. I think Relic got in a confrontation with one of his guys in the middle of that fight. Which is really, really bizarre, but it seems to have happened. There was nothing on there that was red. It was all blue. Hey, look, uh... This is all... This is all blue. How did he get injured? The Legionnaire stabs the Legionnaire. Oh, wait. Maybe one of the... No, the, both the dudes were serfs. Who else is wounded? Oh, someone else is dead. Did Relic kill one of his own guys? Or is that the two werebeasts? I think we'll have to wait and wait and see how that plays out. I'm really, really hoping that um, we haven't just spread the werebeast infection. But it looks like um, a couple of maces were dropped. The king himself is in there cleaning up the blood from his soldiers. And let's see, we have Relic spattering like a bunch of... No, oh, there's Relic's blood. Yeah, so Relic was fighting one of his own guys. 
Because on these reports here, he, um, the way hyena surfs didn't actually get an attack that hurt anybody. So I think we're safe. I'm just going to double, triple check. All of these, these are in blue. So it's just our people doing their things. The things in purple are like grappling checks. Things in red are attacks. But everything that the way hyenas did was blocked. So who the hell was Relic fighting? Either way, Relic is alive. Let's press military. It looks like Relic killed a couple of his own guys in there. Not really sure how or why that happened. Maybe because they were just fighting in too close of a space. Oh wait, when I selected with that rectangle, did I tell them to kill some of their own people? I might have done, you know. I might have just ordered some of my best guys executed. <laughs> I did not think that was possible. The order said kill where hyenas, not kill various, so that I don't think that is what's happened now that I think about it. Hopefully people come to bury the dead soon. There are a couple of guys in our jail, which I think those those guys are in there for um Yeah, like disorderly conduct. Ten days in prison on oh, no, a violation of Export, probably. Yeah. yeah, we exported. Apparently, we sold something we weren't supposed to. You know, let's actually um, let's go to you. Let's find, let's find relic here. Let's view him. Let's press H for his health. The ability to grasp somewhat impaired. There is a bunch of torn opens. His upper body needs dressing, and there's a bunch of uh, sutures and cleaning going on. And dressings. So it looks like uh, Relic's getting some pretty decent care. I'm hoping someone comes to, you know, bury the bodies at some point soon here. But we do have our, um, surfs. Is that a bat? Has someone caged a bat? That's somebody's mutilated corpse, apparently. Maybe that is the, um,. Bird that was fighting something. Oh. Oh, a legionnaire has given birth to a baby. Awesome. Uh, we do have a bunch of wood being brought in, like I said, uh, in the end of the last episode. Because there was so much on the map, we decided to uh, harvest quite a bit of it. Now that a couple of years have gone by, the map's actually looking more and more fertile, which is pretty cool. And there is, there is an agenda for this uh, tutorial that we will eventually get to. We've got our um, dining hall being dug out there. We'll have a bunch of rows of tables in there that'll be uh, pretty good when that happens. A surf is annoyed that he's cleaning. Throwing a bunch of tantrums. And that's something that we want to try and address today, which is the mood of the fort. And we're going to try and do that by building a tavern. So, we, if we um, head up to the surface, that's where we're going to build our tavern. We're probably going to build it at the back, just by the bees nests, to really get the drunk guys like having a good time. We'll start throwing angry bees at them. Just to, uh, just to keep them on their toes. So, to build a tavern, not super difficult. We're going to start off by building our walls. And taverns... Don't need to be, um, sorry, my cat's doing something weird in the background, keeps distracting me. So, taverns don't need to be huge, they don't need to be, like, massive. But as you can see, we have a lot of logs now, and a lot of blocks. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have stone walls. Going to leave a space for our dwarves to get past who need to be at the beehives. And we're going to make those out of diorite blocks. We will leave a space for a door with this being on the surface and the floor I think just because we now actually have enough wood to do it we're gonna build it out of logs or shall we go for blocks 
I don't know how many blocks we have left, honestly. Actually, we have plenty of firelight blocks. We'll go for blocks. Oh, no, we don't have plenty of blocks. Uh, what other blocks do we have? We have some more slate. There we are. We'll finish that off with some slate then. So we're going to have this uh, nice tiled floor. And then we'll put an upstairs above it for a place for people in the tavern to stay. But the first thing you need is just a shell of a small to medium sized building. Apparently the silver crafters aren't doing it the most amazing job they could. What are you guys doing? You're storing something in a stockpile. You're dragging a giant rock around instead of using the wheelbarrows. Nice. We have a bunch of bedrooms that we've ordered here. But the serfs and everyone else are just so busy apparently that they can't get that done. They do have a lot of responsibilities. They do all of the hauling and all of the uh, smoothing and such. So I'm not entirely surprised it's going to take them a while to get that done. Looks like the uh, soldiers who are staying with us are choosing to use that dormitory more than they are uh, using rooms. Still annoyed that uh, we lost three of Relic's squad. Those, of course, being the legendary everything guys. But it does seem like the most reasonable explanation is I told them to kill each other by accident and didn't realize it. So I'll let that be a word of caution as far as... Um, group selecting goes instead of selecting with lists but now we can start the process of uh, recovering our sick bay there we are. so we will eventually get that back in order as well plenty of people cleaning and hauling bodies around and doing all that of good stuff I guess this means I need more coffins, seeing as they haven't moved those ones. Don't really have any space for more coffins, there's like one or two. Not enough, I don't think. So we'll uh, do some high priority mining here, and we'll go across to this bit, and expand upwards a bit. And we'll just throw down some more of these uh, open spots. Not the most elegant tomb I've ever made, but uh, this is, it's doing the job, which is all we need of it. There we are. Now hopefully as soon as they're done with stockpiles, they'll get on with that. Emotional shock, probably from the corpses that are lying around. Now then, who are the people with no jobs? I assume it's my medics. Yeah, it's all of the medics. So I think what I'm going to allow is we're going to find our medic eye. And we're just going to alter their role by allowing them to do these labors again. They should still, hopefully, prioritize their other stuff. But right now, having four more dudes hauling things can only be a good thing because there is a lot of wood outside to be brought in there are a lot of uh, projects currently being done by less than a dozen serfs where's that guy going with soldier oh, he was probably feeding the uh, people in there who is that who's just standing there Oh, it's a medic eye. He's in the hospital, but he doesn't appear to have any patients. Petitions available. Uh, eradicating monsters? Sure. Speaking of, let's have a look over here. Do we have anything? There's a giant mole. I wonder if that's a threat. I wouldn't assume so. But it is rather close. So you know what we're actually going to get? Squad C. Kill from list. And we're going to assign them to that giant mole, just because it's too close. And I want to assess how strong they've gotten, how their training's going. See the giant... Yeah, this looks like it's going to be entirely a, a one-sided fight. Especially with that thing having no armor, versing a bunch of uh, sharp weapons. 
lot less idlers now. Uh, that's fine. Randos are giving names to their shields. I think at this point on, we're going to uh, stop accepting monster hunters for a little while. Just because we have squad C down there now, our need is not as urgent. And honestly, I think at this point we could do with dwarves more than we could monster hunters. Looks like the floor is going to be very slightly different colours in the taverns. That's going to drive me nuts, but it's just the way it is. Okay, we need more barrels. Okay then, so we're going to go down to our carpenter. Add... Wooden barrels. We'll add for 100 of those now that we have all of this wood lying around. And then we should be able to get the still... Firing on all cylinders again. Quite a bit of wood being uh, brought in. People are throwing tantrums a little bit more often now. Which hopefully the tavern will help with because it will attract another race, uh, not another race, another um, class, I guess, of adventurer, namely the bards. And their only purpose is to like perform poems and songs and just basically cheer your dwarves up. Keep them entertained while they're happily drunk off their asses. Now then how's our um oh there's a save incoming. So no one's currently in the uh, hospital. All of the beds and the traction benches are back in place. That's a good sign. There is a kind of uneven floor out there now where we're waiting for the, the smoothers to be done with building the tavern and other things. We can now set those for burial and hopefully it'll uh, Throw in the corpse from upstairs. Looks like dwarves are happily visiting each other's graves, which is a little bit morbid. Which is why we want them to have that nice new meeting hall. And uh, some other nice things. Now, have these been claimed? Yeah, they have. Uh, well, we need to be building more coffins, I guess. And we have right now a little bit of a labour shortage. Because our odd jobs like calling are not getting done as quickly as I'd like. But we have no idlers. None whatsoever. Okay, looks like the corpses are being uh, hauled down here. Feel bad for that one guy who got uh, thrown in with all of the, with the other two wear hyenas, and he wasn't even really one himself. So he just got torn to bits when they uh, when they turned. Let's go look at these crundles get slaughtered. These guys are weird. They're just a big um, just a big ball head with arms and legs and uh, sharp teeth. I actually really enjoy uh, Krug Smash's artwork of these that he did with Monster Killer, which is a, a series you should really go check out if you haven't already. Okay, now the serfs are too depressed to actually uh, take their stuff home. It's probably not a great thing. Not the most amazing thing to have ever happened. Squad C should be on their way over to murderlate this crundle. Oh, there they are. Oh, these things are quick. I don't know if we're going to catch those. Well, well, we'll give them a couple of minutes to try and catch them. And if they can't, we'll just cancel the hunt. Soldiers tend to uh, corner things like that. And once they get 
You know, once you once your arm gets chopped off and then your foot gets chopped off, you're probably not going to escape. Bites the crundle, shattering the cl that is gross. Who bites feet? Feet are just weird in general. That poor crundle, he's just he's trying, bless him. Oh nope, there it goes. Who? What happened? The human mace man. Oh, it wasn't even one of us to catch up. Run, Crundle. You can do it. Oh, nope. I thought... Yeah, that... Uh, Crundle dodged the Legionnaire who got bored and went home. You know what? I think I'm going to cancel the uh, order on that Crundle if he can get away from this current dash here. Oh, never mind. I was about I was giving him a chance, folks. He could have lived. But instead, his foot got chopped off, and then his arms got chopped off. And that is the joy of using weapons like um like swords and axes against unarmored opponents, is you can remove their limbs. Looks like we are actually starting to get an idler or two, but people are throwing more and more tantrums. None of the nobles have uh, any mandates for production, it's all... Wait, what? A legionnaire has been found dead? That's not good. Yeah, one of... One of the bee guys has been killed. Let's go to the justice system. There's a bunch of that that doesn't matter, but... How did he die? Was he fighting? Oh yeah, one of the other legionnaires killed him. Oh. Catan Kilbanis killed one of her squad mates. No, that's just disorderly conduct. I don't know if we're actually going to get to... Um charge anyone with that murder. I don't know what's going to happen there. But our fort is slowly descending into madness, folks. But not to worry. If this fort does descend fully into madness and they, um... We lose the fort to just... A giant civil war murder spree. It's not a massive issue. I'll start another one up, get it to roughly this point, a couple of years in with uh, all of the things we have now, and I'll just continue the tutorial in the new in the new fort. Won't be too much of a problem. So then now that we've got a large amount of this done, we're gonna build an upward staircase. Apparently we can't uh, build one on that floor. That's my bad. Well, we'll remove that. Not an issue. Why is that? Oh, that guy was delivering the door. I was wondering why I was just standing in the doorway. Let's see. Is the justice system going to do anything now about that murder? Looks like no. But we are going to go take a look in the uh, jail here. And do we see a soldier? We don't. So apparently that murder was just completely fine. Nobody really minds. Looks like the beds are getting delivered into those bedrooms. That's nice. Uh, a bunch of the crafts being done. I'm guessing there's still quite a few people uh, yeah, storing items. Not sure why my miners are storing items rather than mining, but uh, we can forgive that for now. What we are going to do... Stray Kitten is being bitten by a cave spider. Is that just a regular cave spider? Yes, it is. Okay. If that was a giant cave spider, we'd have an issue. So, what we're going to do... We are going to mine out... I think that's like... Four or five across there. Uh, we are going to order that... Channeled. We're going to go down and cancel those designations. I hope this works the way I think it's going to work, because I'm, I'm hoping that they will be able to channel up. 
I might have to do some other kind of designation for like digging an up ramp, but then we can um, extend our plant area. We're also going to remove all these beds. This is no longer a uh, triage hospital. In fact, this has taken a long time to do anything. Oh well, that's just the uh, risk of Dwarf Fortress. In fact, what I may do, just because normally I have the population cap higher, but I lowered it for the tutorial, but for the sake of getting things done faster, I'm going to allow another 20 dwarves to emigrate here. Oh no, that was population cap of 120, not just 20. <laughs> that should allow a few more dwarves to show up, and then we can assign them to be serfs. And then we should get things done a lot, lot quicker. Guessing the construction of that wall is, yep, suspended. There we are, we can unsuspend that. Oh, that's right, that's where we killed the goblins. And we still uh, had a bit of land up there. A few of them are just in the corpse pile now, I guess. More mace dwarfs are visiting. I think, like I say, we're going to reject those for now. We have quite a few citizens who are here to eradicate monsters. I don't think we need any more. Whoa. Must be inside. Okay. We can't build the uh, tables outside just yet. We're going to need the, the roof installed on the second floor. Now, it's going to be slightly more awkward building a second story building like this when we want to divide up some uh, rooms. Because we're going to have to um, place floors down but leave gaps for walls and then place the walls down. It's going to be just a little bit strange but you should see what I mean fairly easily. Obviously there's still all of this wood out here to be brought inside from all of the tree cutting we did. So hopefully we'll actually get that uh, next migration wave. What is our current population right now? Petitions available, we are going to deny. So that Mace Dwarf can leave. Interrupted by Crundles. Squad C, kill from list. Let's go kill those crundles. I don't think we're going to bother watching that this time. It's not a, uh, a huge event, killing crundles. You know, I think we, um, we're going to cancel this de designation and I think we're going to have to increase its priority. So we're just going to press N for remove construction again. We're going to make that a top priority, get someone up here on this right away. Has our mining been done yet? It hasn't. Petitions available. Deny. We have plenty of monster hunters. Thank you. Now then, what's, uh, what's going on in our main hall? Is that being smooth at all. It was being smooth, but it looks like everyone is now uh, storing things in stockpiles or getting righteously drunk or doing other various crafting tasks. Looks like for a lot of our serfs are busy with the, um, the logs. Once enough of those have been brought in, or once they've been brought in, I guess, in general, it uh, should speed things along in the fort quite considerably. I'm not going to um, tell like the miners and the medics to stop helping out with this for the simple fact of how much there is to do. And the crafters aren't doing it, so it's not really detracting from our production, just from our uh, fort expansion a little. Well, so we can now build our upstairs. Build that out of schist blocks, I guess. That's fine.
We may do something with wood on the second floor of the tavern, especially on the interior walls. Because we do have a lot of that just lying around the map now. I have had um, this problem the other way around, where you're low on stone. Especially in maps where you have a lot of iron. I've, um, there was a, a fort I did off screen before this one. Where it was essentially a mountain of just iron ore. And I didn't want to use that for, you know, crafting doors and what have you. When I could refine it into iron and then steel, because I also had the uh, the process ready for that on that map. So basically everything in my fort that wasn't made of wood, like the beds, was made of steel. It was very expensive and slow process, but it was pretty cool to do. Looks like we've got quite a bit of blood going on up there. The potatoes are ready... But for the most part, people are just hauling wood still. There is quite a bit of it around the map, I guess. Human maceman has been found dead. Is there something out there killing people? Oh, jeez. There is a giant cave spider. What we're going to do is we're going to send squad A, B, and C. Kill from list. That giant cave spider. Now, it looks like it is currently uh, fighting people. And by fighting them, I mean murdering people. But it is heavily wounded and tired. So hopefully our dwarves, especially our ranged dwarves, will be able to get up on that guy while he's still wounded. Webs are a, a nasty thing to deal with. Here we are, they also have backup from some humans. Let's see, giant cave spider is just mashing its way through a legionnaire right now. But some of them are, are getting close enough to uh, fight back it looks like. Oh, just destroyed its mouth. Looks like the, uh... Yep, we killed it, crushed its abdomen. Oh, and one of our, uh... At least one of our dwarves has went from child to peasant. Let's go see if we can find the peasant. So we have the babies, we have the children. And now we scroll down here until we find... The peasant, Daten Bidkavaz. Well, Daten, it's good news for you. Son, you, you're in the army now. Not only are you in the army, you get to be one of the safer people, Daten. You get to be one of the shooty guys. There you are, Daten. Now then, hopefully... One of our medics is uh, bringing the wounded in. In fact, just for now, for the sake of this small area that we're doing, we're going to go across to just this top medic eye, and we're going to remove all of his stuff. Just so that at least one of our doctors is always on standby. Because with all of the hauling going on right now, I'm afraid he's going to be hauling wood. Looks like um, quite a bit of equipment was just left by either the humans or ourselves. But we managed to win. Did we lose any more of our people? We didn't. So if we... Let's just grab a random dude. We'll zoom to him. Okay, so he's on the surface. We'll head on down to our hospital. And check out, we have one wounded dwarf. Who is this? This is Ubel. Check out his wounds. Apparently his left hand and lower body. He is unconscious. So let's, uh, let's go find Ubel. Ubel. We might have to search for this guy. Because I am terrible at uh, finding him on these lists. Let's start from the top here, Legionnaires. That's an Udib. No, I'm 
not seeing him. It's definitely Udil. Ubil. 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 So we're gonna go Q and we're gonna search for Ubil. I'm gonna view him. There are no dwarves living here. That that's okay. It's really not what I was trying to do, but it's fine. So Ub. Take a look at his health. His ability to stand is lost. Ma uh, motor nerve damage and sensory nerve damage. Ooh, that's not great. Lots of torn open and moderate bruising there. Needs setting suture. This guy is going to be down for a while. But there is a doctor. Oh, there's two wounded. Who else is wounded? Shem. Okay, that's a, that's a weird name. You've got Shem. But let's take a look at you here. Why does it say there are no dwarves living here when I search for Sham? Oh. So we'll press U, we'll press Q to search. We'll go to Sham. Press... V to look at him, or press enter then V, I see what I was doing. Uh, let's look at his health. He is thirsty and his ability to stand was lost. So it looks like this guy is just so torn up that uh, he can't stand. But we should have at least one or two of the Medici. Butcher an animal, I guess someone was out hunting. Yeah, at least one of the Medici is on suture. So I think we're actually just going to turn off all of the labors on the Medici. It was... They're helpful in, in um, helping things go smoothly. But I think I am more concerned about having these guys permanently on standby for our dwarves. Because those guys have a lot of injuries and it's probably going to take a long time for them to heal. But that was Sea Squad killing a spider, even if they did have a large amount of help from the um, monster hunters that we have staying in the fortress, which is exactly why you want them around. We have gathered a lot of the wood that was out here now, so hopefully it won't be too much longer before people can uh, stop doing that and get onto other things like uh, mining and smoothing out our dining hall, which... Oh, Never mind, that was just someone giving a name to his spear. Not a particularly significant event in this fort. So what we're actually going to do is increase the priority on this. This is top priority because this is going to make our dwarves happier by having it. So I want this done. Because this will be done a lot, lot quicker than um, than the wood hauling will. Now I'm fairly sure we're still making the silver bars, but um, I'm just going right, to pause the recording. So folks. the rock Irami Atheral Quaka Ida has come. A bird of prey so large and ferocious, it dwarfs many dragons. All beneath its mighty wings should fear the sky. Well, cool. So we're going to go to military, we're going to activate our burrow, we're also going to get squad B, the only ones who can fire in the air, who have also killed another of their members. So the tantrums are really getting out of control. We're going to go kill from list, and we're going to try and kill this uh, Arami. We're also going to get squad A, and we're going to kill from list, and we're going to ask them to kill Arami. And I'm just hoping that, so they will, um, you know, run to wherever this thing is. We're going to look at it, we're going to press F and track it. This thing is in the air, so it's not going to, um, yeah, it's not going to die easily. It's currently hunting a camel, apparently. We're okay with that, it means it's not hunting our derfs. It just insta-killed a cat. on a flyby ripped its leg off. Uh, 
Has it left the map? Yep, seems like it's left the map, so, uh... Kudos to us, I guess. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't left the map. There it is, he's back. Keep that alert on, then. Now, the, uh... There go the ranged dwarves. And a spear dwarf. Let's see. Misses the legionnaire. Bites him in the upper arm, tearing the fat. Lower arm, tearing the fat. So just some, uh... Tearing the muscle. Artery has been opened. That's not good. Motor nerve has been severed. Also not good. But then the legionnaire gets in and starts tearing muscle and sensory nerves. Lots of leg injuries going on there. I think this is Rith. Do you guys remember Rith? He's like the worst legionary, like, well, sorry, the 10th the man of the first squad. And he is just going like one-on-one -on -one versus this rock and just absolutely annihilate it. Stabbed, oh, bashed it in the tongue. Looks like the um, crossbow legionnaire is back. And they are just wailing on this thing's head right now. Let's see who gets the kill on this rock. Wow, there are like nine or ten dwarves now around this thing. The Legionnaire bashes the rock in the head with a silver warhammer and the injured part explodes in a gore. So I don't think Riff got the kill, but in our hearts, Riff just killed that rock. We are now going to deactivate that burrow. A bunch of chicks have hatched, which isn't necessarily a good thing for my frame rate, and it keeps happening. So, we're going to finish off construction on the tavern. That's going to happen today. I did, uh, like I say, we ordered a high priority job done here. I'm still hoping for a, a migrant wave. So, we can get some more surfs and get the, the place running properly. Obviously, we're just going to have a small food storage there. Right next to the, the grand hall, which is what this is going to be. Eventually, we'll get all the walls engraved, but to start off with, I would be happy with just a giant smooth area. A bunch more chicks have hatched. We'll probably just wait for a year and then butcher an absolute ton of the chickens, and then we can use them to make, you know, leather clothing. Which is going to be just spiffy. Everyone likes a good chicken leather sandal. The guy's making masterwork barrels, which, I mean, they're just there to put food in, but hey ho, good on that man. Seeming like we might need another stockpile, but for now, seeing as it means, uh, that is a lot of chickens. Yeah, seeing as it means the serfs have other things to do rather than hauling wood, for now we're going to allow that, uh, stockpile overflow to just stay as it is. Because after this we have a tavern to build. Let's check the, the hospital, because we now have a few guys in there, I think. Yeah, we have uh, we have four... Do oh, well, someone died. But not one of the... There was only that one crossbow guy injured. Let's see, do we see any... Who are you? Who are you, Mr. Dwarf? You are Cog Fickod. Okay, let's take a look at Cod for Cod. We're going to go to units, we're going to press Q for search. And then we're going to go for Cog for Cod. We're going to press V, H for health. Ability to grasp somewhat impaired motor nerve damage. Uh, right upper arm needs dressing. So, for the most part, it looks like they've been seen to, which is just spiffy. This is now ready for all of its tables and chairs to be brought in. Of which we should have plenty. Obviously not everyone is going to be eating in here at the same time. But just for the dwarves having a, a big uh, communal space like this. Makes it uh, much more grandiose. Oh, that's not in the middle. God damn it. That's right, the middle bit is just a bit bigger, isn't it? And 
apparently we're not quite done with tables just yet. Oh, chair. We will have to find the mason. And add some more. Now I know that those middle tables are absolutely useless. But they're just there for show. Sure. The middle tables are grander. They're for the more important people. Mason. New task in the work order. Q. Table. Make another 25 of those. We'll probably need a few more at some point. And then I think what we're going to do is the old quarantine, uh, quarantine chamber. We are going to designate. We're going to remove that stockpile. We are going to remove the bed. We'll probably replace that with chest and file and cabinet and we'll turn that into the chief medical dwarf's office just to stop people randomly eating in there. Where is our chief medical dwarf? I don't think we're going to find him. What's his name? Let's just look at our nobles. Chief Medical Dwarf is Zanag. Zanag the Medici. Oh, no, there he was. Zanag the Medici. He gets an office. Because, uh... Well, he deserves an office. Really, that, that's about the up and down of it. Stray Cat has been missing for a week. I think that's the one the giant bird killed. Okay, cool. A bunch of these are already, so we can, uh... Mark them for burial. I'm still not sure why we have so many corpses. But we always have a lot of corpses. So we're just going to have to really put up with that. All of those bedrooms are now ready. And some of them are empty. Which tells me that we actually are... Um, you know, all of our dwarves have their own bedrooms. Now then, now that the first of the dining tables is in. We can assign this room as... Dining hall and a meeting hall, so anyone who's idle can come hang out in the Great Hall and swap stories with their friends about that time that they spent six hours looking for a, a pot to allow them to continue keeping bees, and they just couldn't find it. And that's the time, yeah, that's that's the story of how that guy lost his job as a beekeeper. He tells it a lot. We'll order a food stockpile put there. How are we doing for food right now? We got plenty. Nice. Looks like the human lady is fighting. What are you fight? A cave crocodile. She murdered the crap out of it. Oh, blind cave ogres. Those are an issue. So we'll get um, we'll get squads A and B to kill from the list. The giant cave ogres. Then what we'll do is we'll head on down to the caves ourselves. We'll wait for the other squads to start coming past and then we'll assign squad C. Is this guy wounded? Yes. Obel, I think Obel is... Is Obel just always going to be wounded? Let's take a look at Obel. Q for search. Obel, V for view. Health. Ability to stand is lost. No treatment scheduled. Apparently, Obel is just forever unable to walk. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. People are interrupted by the blind cave ogres. Let's take a look at Obel's inventory and see, does he have a crutch? I don't think he does. So, Obel's just kind of... not gonna be great. So, squad C, kill from list. You can now join in on hunting the, the blind cave ogres. Seems like one of them was already... Nope, human spam was killed instead. Oh, that human might be about to be saved. Oh no, that human's actually holding his own. The guy is using a... Oh, never mind. He was using a copper warhammer, which was never going to be good. Here come our spear masters. Let's take a look now. Yeah, stabs. Yeah, this is going to be one-sided as well, I think. 
we'll let this play out just a little bit, see how it goes on. Just a bunch of us beating the crap out of a cave ogre. Don't think we need to watch that too much. Oh, the, the dwarves were even running around so they could get on both sides of it. And it was finished off by a, a human punching it with a shield. Or is that, oh, that was the other ogre. Okay, I see. Which, uh... Is already not faring too well. There we are. I think that's the ogre's dead. Except that last guy over on the right. Who is now getting his, uh... He's just getting wrecked. We don't. I don't think we need to worry too much about these dwarves at this point, unless we tell them to kill each other. So far, I think that's, uh, at least in recent memory, the only way we have lost a dwarf is when another dwarf has killed them. Okay, we need to make some rings. That's fine. We'll hop on over to the Crafts Dwarfs Workshop. We'll make some rock rings. Yeah, now then, hopefully we can actually get finished with our, um... Our tavern. So, we need to build, big C, floor. And here's the deal. We need to leave a gap where our walls are going to be. So these rooms are going to be two by two. They're not going to be as nice as our dwarves' rooms, because these are just rooms for people who are getting drunk and staying here, right? They're not... They're not permanent residents, so they don't need as nice of uh, accommodations. That's the plan anyway. Some some dwarves might choose to live up here if they're especially weird. But that is their choice, really. I think I've just ordered construction of a wall or something. This should work out pretty nicely to give us enough room for uh, bards and the like to stay here. Done something wrong there as well. Now as much as I would like to claim I planned this out, I basically uh, made a room I liked downstairs and then decided how to proceed afterwards. So, we're going to have to wait for that floor to be done, and then we'll order a bunch of walls to be constructed around it, and then we'll get the final corridor in between and get that constructed. Now, I think we're going to build the exterior walls out of um, stone, but I think the interior walls we're probably going to build from wood, along with... Uh, We might build some of the floor from wood as well, just to give it a weird kind of pattern, make it look a bit uh, interesting. Experiencing emotional shock. That's happening a lot. We're still, uh, still kind of dealing with a bunch of our dwarves being unhappy. But, uh, that has been a th oh, taken by mood, nice. And he's claimed the carpenter's workshop. And he's begun his construction. Okay, so that's uh, eradicating monsters. We've just lost a couple of guys, so we will accept that one. As you can see, an absolute ton of chickens. So we're just going to let a bunch of them roam free until we're ready to slaughter them. Because I'm not going to divert dwarves' attention to going and chasing them down. Looks like uh, a bunch of the cave guys who were fighting the ogres are now in there getting treatment. Which is good, because that's how our, our medical dwarves are, are getting their practice for when they treat our guys, right? That's basically where their skills are coming from. You can see some of them are actually getting pretty damn good at their jobs. Because all they do is come down here and treat these, uh, treat these cave explorers. I see, we're going to have to remove this stockpile a slightly different way, aren't we? We're going to have to... How do we remove a stockpile? Yeah, pile remove. There we are. So someone should haul that away eventually. The only problem is it's using a bunch of our threads, suturing up those other guys. Why are there coffins on the stairs? Can somebody please explain to me 
Why there are coffins on the stairs? Are these being suspended from forbidden jobs? That'll have been it. Yep, there we are. Well, we can fix that now. I think, folks, I'm going to have to complete construction on the tavern in the next episode, which uh, I'm going to jump straight into. I'll see you then. As always, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.